We are going to calculate a five-figure summary from a frequency distribution table. So there's a few more steps than there were in the previous video. So let's have a look at how we might do it. So here's our distribution table over here. Uh, we've got scores in the left-hand column. X stands for scores. So maybe this is scores, uh, possible scores in a, a quiz or something. And um, the frequency column is telling you how many um, students perhaps scored and got each score. So 2 got a score of 12, 3 got a score of 13, etc. We're going to fill out our five-figure summary table pretty well as usual and we're going to after that find the mean and check the number of scores in our, um, in our uh, data set. We could do that by the way by just adding up this column but this can be a useful check so we'll do that as well. Okay, so the first step always when dealing with statistics is to clear your statistical register. We can see we're in stat mode there, that's a bit dangerous, there could be data in our calculator, we want to get rid of that. So we do that by pressing shift clear. And it's asking us, do you want to clear everything? We do, so we press 3 equals and then AC. Right. Now, there's one other thing we've got to, well, there's a couple of things we've got to do. We've got to get in stats mode first. So remember how we do that? Mode. And you're going to press 2 for stat mode. And it's asking us what sort of stats are you interested in. We are still interested in one variable statistics. So we press 1. And our little spreadsheet opens up. Now, the problem here is that we don't have a column for our frequencies, that column there. So how do we do that? Well, we do this. We go shift set up and you'll see a not very promising list of options scroll down to the next line because there's more than eight options here and we go to stat so press three and frequency on or off you can probably guess which one we are going to select it's that one there one so there we go and magically a frequency column is uh, opens up okay and so we've got two columns to fill out now here we go I'm going to do the first, uh, the X column first and then the frequency column. So like that, 12, enter, or equals rather. Uh, 13 is the next one. 14, 15, 16. Okay, now what I have to do is scroll across and up. See, it's got a uh, frequency of 1 for um, every um, score. That's the default setting. Looks like I scrolled too far, by the way, so it takes you to the bottom of the list when you do that. So I go to number 1, and here we go. So I'm going to press in. What I'm doing is entering this frequency column now. So here we go. Uh, 2 equals 3 equals 0. Um, Six, uh, seven, twelve. Lastly, three. Good. My data's all in. Uh, the column links match up, so that's encouraging. What I do now is I press AC, and I'm ready to go ahead and find my data. Um, how we do that is the same as uh, what we did in the previous video. So if you didn't see that, this is what we do. We press Shift one which has got a little stat above it you'll see and what are we doing we're finding well five figure summary we need option five for our five figure summary good way to remember it five for the five figure summary okay here we go now the minimum uh, well we know what the minimum is anyway admittedly it's 12 and the maximum is 18 but uh, just to refresh our memories on how to do that one equals and you can see that 12 appears no surprises there. Q1, shift, stat, min max. It's always shift, stat, min max, isn't it? So for a five figure summary. Uh, Q1, okay, that's option three up here, I see. So three equals, so that's 15, is our median. Uh, sorry, Q1, rather. Um, Q2, which is the median, so shift, stat, min max and four for median or q2 that's equal to 16 and q3 so shift stat five for min max 
equals uh, q3 is option 5 equals 17. And the maximum, well, we know it's 18, but let's just make sure we haven't made a mistake somewhere along the line on that front. So 5 max is option 2 up there. So 2 equals 18. Yep, that checks out nicely. And now let's go ahead and find the mean because we don't know the mean. Um, remember how we do that? We're going to press shift stat and it's this bar uh, option we need, bar for variance. So option four. Equal, now x bar is the mean, so it's option two equals, and it's some horrible number, 15.85 to 2 dp. Five two decimal places and the n. So let's see how many numbers are in our data set. It should be the same as the column total here, which is by the way 15, 25, 31, 34, 36. So let's make sure that it is shift stat uh, var and n for number 33. Oh, I must have miscounted. 33. Let's just check that out. 5, 11, 18, 30, 33. Yep, that's right. Made a mistake the first time. And there you go. That's how you uh, get a five-figure summary and the mean and number in your data set based on a frequency distribution table.